and welcome back. The goal right now for me is to make enough money to be able to afford a hauler. Uh, a hauler is essentially the first van of the game. Uh, it carries four times as much cargo as the Sidewinder and has a longer jump range. It's not nearly as agile or as well suited for combat, however. Uh, but again, I really, really suck at combat. I um, I subscribe to the motto of um, Sir Robin from uh, Monty Python's Holy Grail. Uh, run very bravely away. So again, we're gonna loot our way to uh, to riches. So. There's no point in, uh, in in trying to buy anything here. We're just gonna go out, fly, try to find stuff and pick it up. Um, it is worth noting that uh, repairing uh, ends up being cheaper than uh, when you do it as soon as something has been damaged. It can be damaged in combat. It can be damaged because you fly into something, and it can be damaged simply by your ship overheating. Uh, so again, just like refueling whenever you get to a station, always check that you don't need to repair anything. Uh, the first 2% uh, might be relatively cheap, the next 2% are going to be, or seem to be at least, uh, more expensive. So we've sold everything, uh, so it's time to, uh, to exit and launch again. See if we can't find something more. This time we're not going to uh, jump to another system. We're going to remain here in uh, LP98 uh, and simply fly around looking for unidentified signal sources. And again, leave on the green side of the dock. Uh, the NPCs don't seem to obey this, uh, but then again, the NPCs can't dock worth shit, to be honest. Um, the easiest place to to, uh, to super cruise and find these unidentified signal sources seems, at least in uh, in my experience, to be between Freeport and the resource extraction site, which is right nearby. So uh, we're too close, so we can't mass jump. So we need to get away from. Uh, we can't frame shift. Uh, we need to get away from uh, the spaceport. And again, disable flight assist and simply boost to the maximum speed uh, in, in the sidewinder. That's 320 meters per second. And simply wait for the uh, blue spec in mass locked down here to disappear. Since we're looking for uh, these uh, unidentified signal sources, uh, getting there, there's no need to uh, to pop out of hyperspace unless you really want to uh, experience it uh, in here. All it is is a lot of places for people to go, um, or uh, it's a it's a decent place for combat actually. Uh, there don't there doesn't seem to be any signal sources so. Let's head back to the station, if I can find it. Um, when this happens, uh, oh, here we go. If you have trouble finding one, uh, alternatively you can uh, super cruise towards the, uh, the main star and back again. Uh, that will also trigger these uh, things. They are random. Um, so they show up at random locations and they are, uh, have random items in them. Let's see what we find. Coltan is not particularly expensive, but beggars can't be choosers, and in this case, we are thieves or looters or opportunists or whatever you want to call us. Call it. Did 
did the canister go? Well, if you can't find it, uh, oh, ah, crap. Uh, canisters in space, uh, they have a certain amount of hull. They have hull integrity and that will simply uh, bleed out in time. Um, let's head towards the, uh, the main star and see if we can't find some more. See if we can't find some more unidentified signal sources. In time you start to remember which items are expensive and which ones aren't. Uh, gold and palladium are very expensive. Uh, gold is essentially the gold standard. That's what you're hoping to find. Which means that if you, it, like, like right now, uh, if you've picked up something other than gold and you find a new signal source, uh, drop in, check it, and if it's something that's worth more than what you're carrying, you can simply dump it. Uh, I'll show you next time we find something. Uh, let's go to this one. The simplest way to uh, to, to change the target like that, that is uh, point your ship towards it and simply choose whatever button you have designated to select target in front of you. Um, I can't quite remember the setting uh, for it, but or what it's called. Okay, there's nothing on the radar, which means that this is going to be a combat encounter. Someone else popped up on the radar, and that's a Cobra MK3, which is faster than me and will outgun me in more ways than one. Um, and it is going to want whatever I have. Typically, these things are uh, going to be um, interdictions aimed at stealing your cargo. The way to get rid of your cargo, you have two options. You can dump everything, which is a really, really bad idea. Uh, you could, uh, but, but mostly that happens by accident, and when you do, uh, you're gonna find yourself weeping while facepalming. Um, the way to dump a few uh, of your items is to go into this part of your uh, panels, into the cargo, and then simply select the name of whatever. Uh, then you pick a number, I only have one, you select it, click jettison, and it will dump it. Like I said, might as well uh, show you how this is done. Um, going back into uh, Super Cruise. To look for some more unidentified signal sources. They will usually show up on the uh, the list here, uh, but not always. So uh, just simply keep an eye out for uh, circles on. Ah, I'm targeting something else. Uh... Incidations are, at least here, are always going to be pirates. Uh, and unless you want to uh, to play around with combat. Um, my motto is run very bravely away. Especially when they're... that's four, I think. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, uh... <laughs> As you can see, uh, right now, charging to go into uh, Super Cruise is very, very slow. Uh, the message it, it gave is that you were disrupted by a factor of six. Um, ships nearby have an effect on your ability to charge. It will take longer, 
and as such it will generate a lot more heat. Uh, in this case that's not a big problem because the Sidewinder is uh, quite well equipped for uh, getting rid of heat. Um, it doesn't have that many functions that generates heat. And that's going to be another ship. Oh, two ships this time. Since they aren't uh, chasing me, it's easy to put some distance between them, uh, between them and us, and charging becomes a lot faster. But this is basically uh, the way you do looting. You uh, run around, you hope to find gold or other valuables in these uh, unidentified signal sources, and then you pick it up and go somewhere where to sell it. The hauler is 23,000 okay, when you swap it for the Sidewinder. Uh, we picked up uh, 18,000 from those uh, four canisters of gold. So, just need two more, uh, sorry, four more of those, uh, or one signal source like that, and uh, we can afford a hauler. The Anaconda is the biggest shop, uh, biggest ship you can uh, you can get. Um, as you can see right now, charging is very slow because uh, I did it while near the the Anaconda, and as it gets put further behind me, uh, or I increase the distance, the charging really increased in speed as well. Um, Sorry, the Anaconda is not the biggest ship you can uh, you can buy. It's the most expensive ship that costs six and a half million credits, I think. Uh, it is uh, it's essentially a, a a frigate. It is uh, it's big, it's heavily armed, uh, and it is designed for combat and combat only. It does have a, a rather, it has the second largest uh, cargo hold, so you can do trades in it. Um, but it's not particularly, uh, it's not very agile. It does carry a very, very, very big stick though. Well, I think I'm going to end up looping around this a couple of times. problem here is uh, I noticed this one too late and ended up looping twice as you can see there's a good name it um, and another ship encounter so basically while it's getting ready to uh, to, to, to load in whatever uh, ship uh, you encounter or I encounter I simply uh, 
jump into uh, the um, navigation area and, and set my target. Uh, you have, have somewhere between three and five seconds from you jump in until a ship shows up. Uh, which makes it... Uh, you, you might as well use the time. If you come into some place that has cargo that you can pick up, it will show up on the radar right away. Uh, so you always know. In other words, if you, sh uh, if you arrive in an area that has an empty radar, you're going to have an encounter with the ship. And its victims are always ship encounters. As you can see, it took quite a while for those two to uh, to show up. And the simplest way uh, I found to stabilize myself is simply to dis uh, enable and disable uh, flight assist for a moment. Uh, that way, the ship stabilizes and. I can boost again in in that direction, um, but again, cobras and me sucking at combat. I have no interest in fighting them. The uh, navigation beacon is also quite handy. Um, it is an area that it, it's basically the staging area for NPC ships arriving in the system. Uh, so they're going to arrive there and spend some time before they boost into uh, hyperspace or disappear or whatever. Which makes it a great place to, to do some pirating if that's your thing. Uh, and um, who knows, maybe there will be stuff left behind from other pirates. I think I'm going to end up overshooting this one as well. Uh, yeah, way too fast. Typically what you'll find here are lots of uh, uh, ships and, and various stuff. The single uh, grey item right now is, that's not a piece of cargo, that is simply the navigation beacon. Um, Cobra seems to be the only thing. And this type of uh, thing is basically patience, which pays off. Cobra, Cobra... Cobras are not very fun to fight against when you're as bad at combat as I am. Um, in busier systems, uh, there will be a lot more ships in. Uh, in in and around the navigation beacons. Oh, back to hunting unknown signal sources. The uh, squares that show up in the radar, uh, 
when you're in Super Cruise uh, are always players. Uh, the hollow squares you will see on the radar are always going to be players. Uh, you can communicate them, uh, with them through the uh, communications panel, depending on how you bound it. Bound it. And while both of you are in the same instance, and Super Cruise being one instance, um, you can continue to communicate with them either through text or through talk. Um, you have an option uh, up here for open voice comms. Yeah, this can easily be a uh, rather fruitless hunt for loot. Uh, and another ship encounter. Two of them this time. Um, If you regret starting a uh, super cruise charge, uh, you can simply cancel it by pressing your jump button again. Can be a multitude of reasons to regret it. One of them being overheating. A simpler one is mm, probably that you pick the wrong destination system. It's not much point in jumping to the wrong system. What is this, 10th time? Lucky, perhaps? Cobras. Speaking of heat, if you're uh, stuck somewhere and you really need to get rid of heat, uh, the best thing is simply to disable stuff. The more stuff you disable, the less power you use, and the less heat you generate, which means it becomes harder to actually target you. Um, if you listen closely and if you pay attention to the size of the screen, you can see that he's wearing a helmet because I disabled life support. And it gives you a counter. Uh, you have 10 minutes of oxygen. Uh, whenever you visit a station, this resupplies. Right now I'm 
really cold. Uh, my sister, my ship is close to invisible. Uh, you do need to enable silent running to be completely invisible. Um, silent running closes all your heat vents, so now you're not bleeding any heat either. Um, since I disabled the drive, um, as you can see, nothing's happening even though the ship seems to be tilting. When you run into that situation, you know you've disabled your drives. Um, and to get it back online, simply go to your uh, module system and enable everything. Um, when you're in silent running, you can't enable your shield generator. Uh, the shield works against it. It generates a, a, a huge signature. So, um, while this is charging, uh, pay attention to how the systems icon over here is behaving. Um, as you can see, it's brown uh, in color as opposed to engine, which is bright. The same with weapons. The speed of the, uh, the the movement indicates how quickly it is currently charging something. How quickly it charges depends entirely on the number of pips you've put into it. So right now, I don't have any pips in it, so it's not charging at all. This is a, a, a common problem you see people run into. They don't know how to do um, power management. When you're in combat, you need to, ha to alternate between weapons, engines, and, and systems, which is your shields, at all times. If, if you're not shooting at someone, there's no point in putting uh, any pips into, uh, into uh, weapons. And on the other hand, if you're shooting at someone and they're not in a position to fire back, you don't really need to have pips in uh, in systems to charge your shields, unless your shields are depleted. Uh, the same is true when you when you boost. Uh, boosting requires energy. You can see now my engine uh, indicator dropped to just under half, because that's how much uh, it is required to, to to activate a boost. And I can't set off a second boost until I have enough uh, energy stored in engines to actually trigger one. This is also important to keep in mind because you can often find yourself in a situation where you need the boost to get out of trouble but you don't have any energy left over for it. This is why the uh, uh, power management is incredibly important uh, when you do combat. It's relatively important otherwise but it is extremely important in combat. Uh, it's probably also one of the reasons why I am a terrible combat pilot. Anyway, uh, back to some more loot hunting. The, uh, the resource extraction site is mostly interesting if you like combat. Uh, it's a great place to, uh, to go and, uh, and get some practice for uh, dogfighting. Um, there will be plenty of people who are trying to attack you, trying to attack others. Um, so there's going to be plenty of people to, to fight with. But again, it's not my cup of tea.
Flight Assist uh, helps you m maintain a heading whenever you let go of the uh, the joystick or controller. Uh, it is very handy for uh, for very precise maneuver. Uh, if you want uh, quick maneuvers, you want to disable Flight Assist. Uh, same if you want to get the maximum speed, you need to disable Flight Assist to avoid it fighting against your top speed. Well, <laughs> clearly you can't strike gold off.